what is it, like a hair away? Mm -hmm. So we'll bring up Foxy's interview, though, and we'll compliment reciprocity, and we'll go through the minds. And a man that we have seen many times so far this season, Foxy, how are you doing? I'm great, man. How are you? I am doing exceptionally well, just as your team tends to be doing right now. Now, the interview questions for you might be getting a little bit uh, consistent here because you keep winning so darn much. Now, with the way that this team is playing, I want to... I want you to walk me through the way that you used Retro in this matchup. There's been a lot of fluidity in the way that your team plays in regards to their roles. Sometimes you and Skies will entry together. Sometimes you and Laxing will entry together. But today, your top fragger was Retro, who by no mm -hmm. means was playing aggressive roles. On Twitch, you had mm -hmm. him largely flank-watching and playing at the back, and then he played Smoke on defense. How do you use a player like Retro inside the grand scheme of things with reciprocity? Well, yeah, I mean, that, see, that's the thing with our team is that everyone's able to play any role. And uh, first of all, I, I want to give a huge props to Orglis. They played really good there. Um, they kind of, like, surprised us a lot. Uh, it looked like they really did bring a, a lot of new stuff. Like, they banned the Thatcher. Like, they were trying to get us to play their game. Um, so when we saw the Thatcher ban, we just decided to, you know, we need something that could potentially get mutes or bandit tricks off. Um, and we knew that they were going to be playing... Uh, probably like Echo or Legion or Valk because they love Valk. So that's why uh, instead of one of us uh, just switching a role, we kind of stayed in our role. And Retro was able to, since like he would be playing Thatcher in that position, instead he just took that uh, Twitch and played it really well. So uh, yeah, it just goes to show that our team can just flex to whatever we need. Yeah, we, we mentioned actually at the start of the broadcast that he would often, you know, you've, we've seen him on Ash, we've seen him on Blackbeard, we've seen him on that Thatcher roll and now on the Twitch, and it seems like he can kill with most operators in his hands. One mm. thing that has kind of flown under the radar for your team is the addition of your new coach, Hopes, and I want you to walk me mm. through exactly the impact that he's had on that team, because I've seen various members of your roster go on Twitter and sing his praises, but I don't really think there's been a big enough spotlight on him, and I want you to have the opportunity to talk about him. Yeah, I mean, uh, we love Hopes. I won't say too much because he wants everyone to think he's bad. But uh, he's actually he's a really good coach. He does everything we need, and it's it's nice being able to ask for something. And then as soon as we ask, like he has like the stat, the the gra like whatever, you know, we just ask something and he does it. Um, I don't know. It's it's nice. It's nice. Kind of we're kind of all mess around. So he's like the the vo vocal point, focal point, uh, the adult figure, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. That's a good way of putting it. Now, how much of how much of when you go into a match are preset strats from him? How much of that are preset strats from you and the rest of the team from Mark I gelling? And how much of that are calls that are made in the middle of a match? And maybe even calls that you have kind of preset and you know are coming. Um so well since we picked up Hopes and Skies, a lot of our strats, um, it's kind of like how we play and we give a lot of uh, room, uh, a lot of movement room. And it's just kind of like uh, through scrims and practice, we can see what works, what doesn't work. So uh, we have some like set stuff. Sometimes we have players who just, you know, feeling themselves. Mark got the ace one round. So of course, like we're not going to tell him to like fall back if he's like gunning everyone. Um, so I don't know. I think it's really like mostly in the moment, but we definitely have a lot of like, like, like th there's like a border, like we, I'll have a lot of outlines and then uh yeah no hopes is really good uh hasn't really done like uh, a ton of strat creation with us but he helps us and uh he has a lot of like the stats and information and uh the more we practice of course we're gonna use him more for creating strats but i think we kind of picked him up in a point where we like just picked up skies you know we're getting new stuff and everything so i don't know i guess we'll have to see for invitational well, your team does look quite hungry, and yeah, just a couple weeks away from your trip to Montreal, and for you, it's going to be a trip back home to Montreal, so a homecoming there of sorts. Anything to say to your fans, the viewers, sponsors, your team, etc. at the end of this interview? Um, thank you guys for supporting us. I appreciate every one of you. My team appreciates everyone of you, us, everyone at Reciprocity. We uh, love you guys for supporting us. Uh, we appreciate all of it. <laughs> We're going to see you at Invite. Um, and yeah, big shout out to Orglis. I mean, like they were so annoying to play against. Like just the amount of new stuff they brought. I think if we were if we were any other team, they probably would have got it. Um, so yeah, I look forward to seeing them improve uh, and you know get more Ws throughout the season. So thank you. Quite a nod of respect to your opponents. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Perfect. It's great to see that. Yeah, that, that showmanship, that show of support, and good sportsmanship, not showmanship necessarily, but more sportsmanship is nice to see teams share.